Pixar movies are forms of escapism for all ages. Kids can enjoy the outstanding animation and character design while older audiences can enjoy the big picture behind the story. Besides having a beautiful color palette, Finding Nemo is a beautiful story about a father and son reconnecting, and most Pixar movies have these deep undertones like this. Up isn't about adventures but who you make them with. Bugs Life is about standing up to your oppressors. Cars is about how egotism and fame can't compare to having genuine friends and family. Pixar movies are more than just little kids films and they earn respect for a reason, no matter how much they diminished over the years. Pixar has had bad sequels and uninspired new titles, but the most underrated and overlooked Pixar movie was Monsters University. Monsters University is a prequel film to Monsters Incorporated and has been pushed away due to the belief of it not being able to stand up to its first film. But those people are wrong, because besides having great animation, character design, and voice acting, Monsters University has a terrifying message. I love Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, and Cars, but Monsters University has the most impactful and relatable story to me, especially as I grow older, and I feel people never gave it the respect it deserves. Monsters University is a story about a group of outcasts who want to prove themselves, which comes off basic, but where it shines is in its characters, specifically Mike Wazowski and James Sullivan. Mike Wazowski is one of the saddest stories in Pixar. Come on, guys, I want to see. Out of the way, Wazowski. You don't belong on a scare floor. I'd have clocked that little shit in his fucking teeth. Because unlike saving ants or finding Nemo, Mike Wazowski has to learn to live and accept what he is. As kids, we believe we could do anything, so we become fueled by dreams. And dreams are necessary, because without them, nothing motivates or pushes us. But what children don't have is reality. Reality comes when you're older, and you realize those dreams are unobtainable or not true sometimes. Yet you're constantly reminded if you keep trying or you put effort, you could do anything you want. And when you don't, you become confused and stressed. Because after years of believing in yourself and seeing people who put no effort in comparison receive success, you face the sad obstacle that maybe you're just not meant to have your dream. That's the terrifying story of Monsters University. Mike Wazowski is physically incapable to be a scarer, and that's not his fault. He was just born that way. But after being inspired by idols, he works as hard as he can to prove himself when in reality there's just no chance. Maybe you love basketball and you put 10 hours a day of just practice and practice and you have all of this admiration for the sport, but you're 5'7 and at tryouts you lose to somebody who's 6'5 and puts no effort in comparison. Maybe you love film and spend all your time consuming and learning all the technicalities and you inspire to be like your favorite directors only to not be able to afford this passion or have someone who has a better living situation get an opportunity that you can't. Maybe you try to find a platform to express your thoughts and feelings in a creative expression for no one to listen or to give you a chance. This happens to millions of people all the time, but sometimes we become in denial because we don't want to lose the kid in us. The kid that gave us optimism to take on the world, but in reality sometimes we're just not fitted for it. And when Mike Wazowski who earns an A on every test puts his life into something, puts his life into this art of scaring like the legends who've inspired him, he's outshined by somebody who was born with an upper hand. He uses that motivation to prove everyone wrong, and after getting confidence he's then kicked from the scare program for not being scary. So he enters the scare games to prove everyone that told him that he's not scary wrong. And then when he wins, he finds out it was because Sullivan cheated for him, so then he faces the reality that he feared most. You were right. They weren't scared of me. I did everything right. I wanted it more than anyone. And I thought, I thought if I wanted it enough, I could show everybody that, that Mike Wazowski is something special. And I'm just... Not. Sullivan has the advantage with his physical nature and family name, but with that name comes the pressure to honor it. And when you fail with high expectations, you fail harder than anybody else, especially when you have high standards to live up to. Sullivan isn't smart like Wazowski. He's only strong suit is being scary with little effort, and he brings shame to his friends, his family, and himself. Maybe you're not an A-plus student like your family members, or the motivated scholar your family wants you to be. Maybe you don't have a high-paying job like your friends, and the pressure from society to live up to those expectations can be hard, and the fear of being a failure can be terrifying. Look, Mike. I know how you feel. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You do not know how I feel. Mike, calm down. Monsters like you have everything. You don't have to be good. You can mess up over and over again, and the whole world loves you. Mike. You'll never know what it's like to fail, because you were born a Sullivan. Yeah, I'm a Sullivan. I'm the Sullivan who flunked every test. The one who got kicked out of the program. The one who was so afraid to let everyone down that I cheated. And I lied. Mike, I'll never know how you feel. But you're not the only failure here. I act scary, Mike. But most of the time, I'm terrified.
How come you never told me that before? Because we weren't friends before. Mike Wazowski doesn't live his dream. He does what's fitted for him and plays his part to the people equipped it for it and supports his best friend by the end of the movie, just like so many people do in reality. Maybe these scenes are only scary and relatable to me. Maybe it's scary because I'm an adult now and that the dreams I will have will start fading into reality. Maybe I'm just scared of failing my family, my passions, and myself. Maybe I fear that I won't live up to my dreams. Maybe I fear about playing a part in society. But what I am terrified is about the future. And maybe I'm chasing a dream right now instead of reality. That's why I find this movie relatable because it truly does scare me.